kind of I knows like him his by using his videos so look so he plays it so good. good. His so smooth. So smooth. How do you how get do you motion get blur? that gameplay? I want to be is just so like clean, you, bro. Boy, it must be nice. I need to know how you have this clean movement. Okay, fine. I am going to do a tutorial on this, and this will be the only time I'm doing it. Since for the future, I'm going to be asked more and more and more. So yeah, there are two different ways on doing this motion blur way and the frame blending way i'm going to be showing you both of the ways and i'm gonna be splitting them all into different chapters so we're first going to start off with the motion blurred way but before we start off you gotta make sure you have the highest quality settings you can have so you want to go to your obs and then go to your settings and then once you go to output go to output mode advanced go to recording and then here you'll see all of these settings. Make sure you have your recording format MP4 or you can have it in MKV. And make sure your encoder is NVIDIA and Vink H264. AMD card users, sorry. Uh, I don't have an AMD card so I can't really make a separate tutorial on this. Go to your encoder settings and copy these. Since these are basically the highest quality settings I have found and made myself. And so after that. We gotta make sure you have the highest resolution and frame rate. So we're gonna have to go to video and then set your output scale resolution to 1920 by 1080. And then switch your common FPS value to fractional. And then it will give you something like this. And then your numerator, change it from 30 or 60 to 120. So you can record in 120 FPS for maximum smoothness. After you have all those settings set, you're going to want to record your gameplay or whatever you want. Here I have a 120fps high clip, and we're going to drag that into our DaVinci. So I already have this dragged in. And before we actually start doing anything, we're going to want to install the RSMB plugin I linked in the description. I'm going to show you the install process right now. So the link is a Google Drive link, and then you're going to want to click on download. It will give you this page of a virus scan. Uh, you're just going to click on download anyway. Since this is what I used, that's how I got this RSMB plugin. You're going to get this file explorer prompt. And you're just going to want to put it in your desktop or downloads folder or wherever. And then just click on save. And then you're going to have this little RSMB uh, exe file. So what you're going to do is it, you're going to first off close your DaVinci. I'm not going to close this since I already have the plugin installed. I don't want to reinstall everything. Yes, you're going to open the exe file. So you're going to get a, an admin prompt. You're just going to click on yes. You're going to get this window where you're going to uncheck all these except real smart motion blur. You're going to go click on next and then it's going to start downloading all of it. And then you can just click on finish and you will have the, the plugin installed. After that, you're going to be able to reopen DaVinci. But again, before we drag the clip into our timeline, you're going to want to go to your settings here in the bottom right corner. And you're going to want to change your timeline resolution to 2560 by 1440. Since this is basically the 1440p resolution, which in YouTube, it gives you the VP9 uh codec which gives you the the highest quality you can basically have without with the least amount of compression now you're going to go to your talent frame rate and go to 60 fps and then your video format put it in the highest you can and then in frame interpolation area you're going to go to the retime process and put this in frame blend so all the extra frames the video has is going to blend them all into a 60 fps clip and then go to motion estimation mode and then make it enhance better motion range and make it larger. You're going to click on change and then drag your, your gameplay or your clip into the timeline. You're going to want to go to edit and then you're going to search up here in the search icon RSMB. You're going to want to go to open effects and tabs and sometimes you're going to be in the toolbox tab automatically to open effects tab and then you're going to click on the star so you can favorite it so it can always be in your favorites and not have to look it up constantly. You're going to go to your RSMB and drag it onto the clip. Now as you can see it's going to be motion blurred. It's going to be pretty like your computer. See it's not really playing. 
but you're gonna highlight the clip and then go to effects. Now here are the main uh, quality settings. So I usually use default, but in use GPU, I turn that on. So the exporting doesn't take like 20 years to do. So yeah, I just click the border amount in 0.50 and the sensitivity in 70. And then I go here to file, quick export, and H.264 master. I gotta make sure the resolution, video codec, frame rate, everything is correct. And then I click on export. And then I just go to wherever I want to install the, the video. And then I just rename it. Motion, bl motion blur test. And then I click on save. And then I will show you the results after this is done. Okay, so now it's time for the flame blending way. So, you guys have the same quality and frame rate as I showed you at the beginning of the motion blur one. So, yeah. But this time, it's not DaVinci, but Premiere Pro. So, you're gonna want to go to your Premiere Pro, make a project, name it whatever, I'm just gonna name it. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and then here, I'm just gonna get the clip that I want to, and then drag it into the media section. I'm going to put this into my timeline and then select the clip. Hello, okay, so one thing I forgot to note is that in this part of the video where it shows you about going to your sequence settings, I didn't show the, the way on how to go to sequence settings, so you just go here to the top left and then click on sequence and then go to sequence settings. And then here you're going to be able to change uh what i'm gonna be asking you to change after that i'm going to go change the sequence settings to the resolution to 2560 by 1440 for the vp09 codec for less compression and higher bit rate on youtube videos and then i'm going to select maximum render quality and maximum bit depth here i'm going to press ok Okay, again, and then I'm going to press I, and then I'm going to go at the end of this clip, and press O on the keyboard. And that's going to select the error that I want to export. And so one thing that you'll notice is that the, the, the video is actually, like, smaller than the resolution. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the scale in 137. And then, there you go. And if you want to do any animations, like for example, some keyframe with a scale or position, just go here to, to effects and search up transform. So you don't actually, so you, so it doesn't mess around with the scale from the, from the motion tab and you'll mess with it from the transform tab. And so after that, you're going to go here to export and then go to video and match source. You're going to go uncheck this frame rate box. And you're going to put it to 60. Then go to more, maximum depth, and maximum render quality. And then here, time interpolation. Change that to frame blending. So it blends all the extra frames into a 60 FPS clip. You're going to scroll down, and then you'll see the VPR one pass. You're just going to put that in the maximum. But if it's here, like a 240 uh, bit rate, you're going to want to put it in 100. So it doesn't increase the file size too much. So then you're going to want to go to your... Wherever you want to save the file. I want to name it. I'm going to name it Frame Blend Test. I'm going to go Export. Now, after this is done exporting, I'm going to show you the results.
thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you have any more questions, leave a comment down below and I will try to answer as fast as possible to that question.